All right, I was going to show my um, homemade welder. It's a old beat to death ride lawn mower. But I didn't want to. I saw several videos on YouTube where you can convert, and you know, there's people have took them just took the engine off and made them a welder and all that i wanted to still use the riding mower because i've got like 80 acres of grass to cut and that's not fun to do with a push mower so i wanted to keep it where i could also use it for what it's intended for okay it's a well it's got the 16 horsepower 16 and a half whatever engine two cylinder and i've added a ford alternator it's externally regulated so all you have to do is hook up a switch in line with 12 volts straight to the battery through a fuse and that goes down goes to the field right here if you activate the field with full 12 volts then you get full voltage out of the alternator and it's enough to weld with it's uh it's not you know as fancy as a store-bought welder but it it does work all i did is i mounted it with a bolt to there have a strap a ratchet strap to tighten the belt with and that just of course runs to the main pulley i just dropped my belt for the mowing deck off and that that's pretty much it it does work pretty good the only problem is i have no idea how to weld i always wanted to learn and this is my opportunity i guess but i'm building a gasifier to run my truck off of wood and I, there's a lot of welding to do on it and i didn't want to have to pay somebody to weld it so i figured i'd build my own welder just the negative ground is grounded to the chassis of the alternator and i've got wire there i'm going to hook up a plug where i can run power tools off of it see all this is made where it's it's detachable so that i can still use the mower and positive just comes off of your main lead right here that would normally go to your battery okay and of course it's just jumper cables and this is <laughs> my homemade uh, it's out of an old bowl my homemade welding mask <laughs> and it, you just hold the rod in there and go to town on it now I'll, I'll show you what I actually the very first weld I ever made those of you who are welders may want to close your eyes if you know anything about welding because uh, it's ugly. But I put my welded my bumper on, if you can call it that. It is gobbed and ugly as it can be. That's <laughs> keep in mind it's the very first time I ever welded. I know it looks awful. But I hooked a chain around it, around the bumper, and hooked it around a tree, and actually tried to jerk the bumper off of the truck, and it would not come off. So, eh, it may look bad, but if it holds, that's all I really care about. The biggest thing I'm going to be pulling is a little 16-foot uh, camper. Uh, yeah, I know that's kind of heavy. I'm going to 
Once I get the hang of the welding, I'm going to reinforce a little bit. I'm going to put me a reese hitch in the middle here. That's why my license plate's mounted off to the side. And I'm going to do a little work to it. I had to fix the old frame anyway. Those are, as you can see, that is a much bigger frame than would normally be on a 1500 GMC. But I've got that put in all the way up to. There you can see it all the way up to there. Right, that is my very first welding job and with a homemade welder. This is the truck that I'm going to put the gasifier in so I will be putting up videos of the construction of it and I can show you what I've got so far but I'm afraid I may have to have somebody do some welding because I don't think I'm going to trust my welds to be airtight. And when you're building a gasifier, you have the potential to make a bomb. So I want to make sure that it is going to be sealed up good. Hey, there's a propane tank that I've cut down. All this is stuff that I have learned on YouTube. YouTube is a valuable resource. And there is going to be my output. That goes down into another propane tank. There's a smaller propane tank on, at the end of it. And that's my first reduction zone. And there's my shaker. And uh, I will show it as I get it put together and get it all welded up, professionally welded. And that's about it for now.